Hello and welcome back to the Kaizen Movement Podcast. This is episode 24 of season one. But today is a little bit different because today, finally, after five months (laughs) of separation, Harry and I are together, sitting down in a room, which is fucking lovely. Harry, mate, how you doing? Good to have you. Hey, I'm very well, thank you, man. Thank you for having me. It's, uh, yeah, no, it's absolutely lovely. It's, uh... Welcome to Riverlight 4. This is (laughs) Riverlight 4, indeed. It's a very wonderful spot you've got here as well. You can, you can, yeah, I'll come down more often now. You won't be able to get rid of me. It's a good spot. But I think the, um, yeah, it's a sign that normality might be coming back a little bit. And uh, this is basically what me and you, when we started this, what thought it would be like. We didn't think it'd be Zooms every week and et cetera, et cetera. So, no, it's nice to... uh, go with what the direction we want the business to go, you know? Well, the funniest thing is, is I think we started this podcast because we were like, we talk about this all on WhatsApp, on the phone, one-on-one, all the time. We've got quite a lot of knowledge between us. Why don't we actually share that with people and just, pre- all you've got to do is literally press one button on a, yeah, I yeah. say one bar. We took about twenty minutes because we got oh, YouTube. Do you the first podcast? Oh yeah, okay, as well. Two guys. Don't get to say two guys. Two guys. Uh, YouTube, YouTube s- massive. Sixteen subscribers. Sixteen. That's gone up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Would you remember our first ever podcast where I came to see you in Brentwood after that night out? Oh, I didn't go very well. <laughs> didn't go well. I was I was asleep. <laughs> podcast. I actually was genuinely quite concerned that you had hurt yourself that night. Yeah, that you was were, a lot. Because it, it was like one o'clock in the afternoon. We'd had a big day. Well, yeah. day and night. Day, was, was celebrating it was, your wife's birthday. Yeah, it was your birthday, wasn't it? That was a heavy session. That was a heavy um, session. But no, we've come a long way since then. As you can see, we've now got amazing backdrop. We've got YouTube. We've got mics. We've got laptops. We, we're, we're firing. And we've got a business. And things are going in the right direction. Business, brand, professional. <laughs> Qualified nutritionist. Qualified, absolutely. Since the last time I saw you. Yep. We haven't, yeah. we haven't seen each other since oh, we God, yeah. qualified as well. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations, mate. And we survived the pandemic as so, well. Just well, you never know. Ish. <laughs> For now. Um, um, so no, all is good. And as I say, normality will be coming forward a bit more now. So we have today's podcast. So we're going to talk about... Yeah, what are we talking about? <laughs> well, first of all, I thought you should put your hair band in. Because you keep playing... I mean, I'm, oh. I have to play with my hair. Well, this this is one of the new features. This, yeah. This, this, this is, is this is lockdown. This is one... I think this is a feature that... A lot of people are rocking it's like uh, absolutely wavy hair now. So I wasn't sure if I was going to take a piss out of you or not. 100%. I mean, okay. <laughs> for those who are just listening and don't know me, I do now wear hairbands. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. I kind of like it. It's growing on me. I quite like them. It's growing on me like your hair. When I first saw it, I was like, I'm not sure. But I think it's, I think it's getting there now. I think it's, there is that, I, I've grown my hair, I grew my hair long for my wedding. You did, yeah. yeah and the, you do go through a tricky phase as a oh, man yes. when you're growing your hair long. Because you're thinking, no, no, I'm going to... Yeah, I'm by a bit like what we do with cars, I guess we are sort of it can be tri- tricky at times and you know, you kind of question yourself, you think, am I gonna to stick to it? But then at the end of it, you've got a hairband, you look fantastic, you're doing podcasts. <laughs> that is you know you know you're good at this when you do a metaphor. Right. You, pull, you combine hairbands with adherence to a diet. Right. I'm an analogy machine, I <laughs> That was good. Except it was a metaphor, not an analogy. Oh. But well just a machine. What's it what's an analogy? I don't even compare. It's like a story, isn't it? Is it? I don't know. Is it? Pretty sure. <laughs> oh, you're thinking of anthology, aren't you? No, that's a shop. <laughs> no, the anthology was in English with GCC, you've got all them poems. You remember, like, not half cast. <laughs> Do you remember? <laughs> Why are you going there? No, no, no. Whoa, no, 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 no. It, was a really good, it was a really good poem about the guy sort of saying, it made me think differently a little bit, saying, like, yeah, we've gone down a different avenue here, but he's talking about piano keys and stuff, and it is actually a really good poem. Go and check it out. Go and check it out. <laughs> I learn something every day, as do you. Right, what were we talking about today? Uh, we are talking about exercise, but a little bit beyond that, because I think there's a massive, massive um, link between exercise and fat loss, exercise and weight loss, and we're exercising to lose weight, and that's the reason you exercise. And the truth be told is, as we proved this morning, exercise is way deeper than that. There's so many more metrics to go by, and it's something that we should be doing on a day-to-day basis without thinking about its links to weight. Yeah, I think people think that... Where, uh, exercise is a prerequisite for fat loss. Yeah. They think, That's it. I have to do exercise. To lose weight, you have to do exercise. Or I do this exercise and tomorrow I weigh myself and I will lose weight. I will lose weight, yeah. And it's not... Very bad relationship. It's You can do exercise and gain weight. You can do exercise and gain a lot of weight. Yeah. Um, exercise is not the sort of golden ticket. And in fact, one of the things we should say straight off the bat, that was weird, I don't know what we did there. Straight off, <laughs> straight off, it's still going. Straight off the bat is, um, you know, exercise is actually, for a, the average person, exercise is actually only uh, worth about 10 to 15% of the total calories Ooh, yeah. you burn on the in a given side, day. Yeah. Yeah. So in terms of the numbers, yeah, exercise has its place, but it should be used to complement 
fat loss rather than seen as a requirement for it. Yeah, yeah you think it's the grand old saying. Fucking is, eloquent. <laughs> <laughs> the hairband, you can up. Coffee hairband. Um, it's the grand old saying, isn't it? You can't out-train a bad diet. And, and, yeah. and the unfortunate thing is, I mean, we've probably gone a bit fat lossy, but the unfortunate thing is, is you can... But well, we went for a run this morning around London. It's fantastic, man. I can see why you're running more around here. It's fantastic. Yeah. But the um, we probably burn. I mean, I'm going to hazard a guess on average. But obviously, it depends on weight and stuff. But between six to eight hundred calories, and then we had a glorious breakfast oh, afterwards yeah. from Deliveroo. For it. Like a big old American breakfast. I had this big old um, egg and bacon uh, sausage burger thing, and Doug had a full English. And you know, it, it took us forty minutes to forty five minutes to run that. It took us probably four to five minutes to eat that, and yeah. the calorie, and there was probably oh, more calories in that than more. there was that. So you know, but it, but again, this kind of leads us to what we're talking about today. That breakfast was absolutely delicious, as was the run. You get the best of both worlds, and I feel fired up for the day now. That's how exercise should be celebrated a little bit. I think I think there were more calories in the fried toast alone that I had than the. I'm not a fried toast man. That it was good, I yeah. must say. But yeah. it's a, it's it's a, it's it's not Moorish. You can have a little bit. It's a bit like dark chocolate. Yeah, you have a yeah, little true. bit, and then you're like, "That's that's enough. I don't I don't need anymore." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I agree. Well, what a way to start a day, you know. Yeah. And 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 now look, if your goal is fat loss, potentially there would be a better option for you post run, or even if you don't yeah. run, yeah. then that yeah. American breakfast. But Doug and I aren't particularly taking diet seriously at the moment. We're not going on holiday or anything like that. We haven't got a, we haven't got, we're not goal focused around fat loss. There might be a time place when that comes back, and that's a healthy message, guys. Like people should not be in a calorie deficit every single day of their life. <laughs> it should be something that we, you know, try to build a relationship between exercise and diet. But I suppose, like I said, we're talking today about the benefits of exercise away from fat loss. Well, I think as well, like, the other message is, is that people shouldn't feel like they have to exercise to give themselves permission true, to, true. to eat food. Good point, yeah, good point. Um, as much as, yeah, people shouldn't feel like they have to be in a calorie deficit every single day, which is absolutely true. You don't, you shouldn't feel like exercise, don't see exercise as a punishment. No. Oh, no. And I think, yeah. and also, if, if you see it like that, it builds, just as people build unhealthy relationships with food, people build unhealthy relationships with exercise because of that. And that's probably why you shouldn't really track how many calories you burn per day. Like, I don't think that's really the metric we should be going by. Exercise to get better at exercise. You know, whether that be go for a run. So don't want to run today. We could measure it by our heart rate. We could measure it by the distance we did. We could measure it by the time. That's very, there's lots of lovely metrics there to go by to get better exercise, nothing to do with fat loss. Well, and, and just exercise for yourself, for your health, for your mental clarity, and this is kind of what we'll come on to. Like, the, there's so many more reasons than fat loss to exercise. It should be, an exercise is something that we should be doing more. In the old days, people didn't exercise. Did they not? No, they didn't well, need to. Well, they, they No, but that wasn't exercise, that was life. Oh, oh, fair, right. So, okay. the, oh, so, yeah, so, like, sure. so yeah. for example, yeah, yeah, yeah. jogging, like they joke about it in Anchorman. He's like, I think it's in the 70s Anchorman. But and he's kind of joking about saying how, well, there's a new fad where people are, do this thing called jogging. And you've got jog, <laughs> oh, yeah, jogging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally, jogging was invented in the last hundred years. Yeah. Well, do you, know, do you know the story? Do you know how the marathon came about? You heard the story? Probably from marathon in Greece. Yeah. So this guy, uh, probably... Bear, the story might be a little bit loose here. Fucking old. No, 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 no. So <laughs> if you knew the end of the story, people wouldn't be doing marathons. Mm -hmm. But they, he basically ran from I think Athens to Marathon. Yeah. Which is twenty six point two miles. He had to go and deliver a message to the king or the whatever, uh, the emperor. And so he was so like into his emperor, he was like, well, I've got to go and deliver this message. So he ran in the ridiculous heat, did twenty six point two miles, went to Marathon, delivered the message, or ran for Marathon, whatever. Um, but he died. Idiot. Yeah. <laughs> that's why you don't do marathons. <laughs> <laughs> no. but, but I suppose it shows how much, you know, this is a good point actually to make, how endless the human body is when it comes to uh, how limited we are, lim limitless we are. So for example, the great example there is people just do marathons now, it's just a thing people do. No one dies, but people do like it. But like, you know, in general, it's a thing that people can train for and they do. We've learned so much more about the body. And another amazing example of that is uh, Roger Bannister, yeah. the four minute mile. Couldn't be done, it can't be done. You no know, one can do a four minute mile, no one can do it. He did it, suddenly everyone starts doing four minute miles. It's just how, how limited we are in our mindset sometimes. Well, it's, like, it's like when Eddie Hall did the 500 kilo deadlift and he said, I'm not just doing this to be the world, like to, to break the record, I'm doing this because as soon as I do it, I know yeah. I'm going to set the bar and more people will then climb just, above me. And he's like, like, he's like, he genuinely, I think he said something like, 
I'm going to butcher his quote, but he said something along the lines of, I want to be part of human progression. Yeah, yeah, it's incredible. It's incredible. Like, I love he, that. He is. By doing something like that, Roger Bannister's a good example. Usain Bolt, all these people who set different world records. I've got to touch on Usain Bolt there, because there, okay. there must be a limit to how quickly you can run 100 metres as a human. There must be, you can't go in two seconds, can you? No, there will be a limit, but it will be. It, like, are we there? Are we there? Usain Bolt hasn't been broken since 2012, did it? It will, it will get down that someone will do it. Someone will come along and knock a couple of milliseconds off. <laughs> I've been there for a while, you know. Yeah, and, but some records are. They're, you know, some records are held for like, you know, but isn't it funny how we progress as humans? I think it's probably safe to say that the amount of time the average world record is held for now is a lot shorter than it used to be. Yeah. And I think that comes down to the fact that we've got, people have access to a lot more stuff so they can see, oh, I've seen that on TV. I've seen that on social media. That inspires me to go and do it. Yeah. And so there's a lot more people competing for this thing. Now, of course, you start at the bottom, you build your way up, but there's a lot more people competing, so naturally these records get broken quicker. Kip, Cho Kip Choji, the uh, yeah, uh, two hour sub, 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 that's a great example of the, the progression of time. I was a guy, the first guy, I it died. Now you're getting a guy doing sub two hour marathon. Like, it's, it's the, uh, that is level, again, not 100%, but I think that's level 18 on the treadmill for yeah, two hours. hours. Well, what's the, what may, well, yeah, you look at the numbers of that one, and it's not looking at, I mean, obviously looking at a marathon in the two hours is amazing, but a lot of people can't context that, because they're like, well, I've never run a marathon. <sighs> look at his 5K, That's and it's like 15 minutes. Is that right? And you're like, but he's running every 5K for 15 minutes. And he's doing like how, how many 5Ks are there in a marathon? Probably it's like 42k in a marathon, so yeah, eight and a bit. Eight and a bit, and he's running eight and a bit 5Ks in a time that's probably eight minutes faster than my best 5K. This <laughs> is the mind is. I mean, I'm actually really glad we're talking about this stuff because this is what exercise should be. It should be a celebration yeah. of how wonderful exactly. the human body is, you know. And, and it's we'll we'll keep on creating metrics. We'll keep on creating stuff to do. And and I can't not talk about my endurance challenges here. Okay. <laughs> no, no, I think it's... no, no, no. I mean, the thing is, I I did those. As a mental challenge to myself to prove how much I want to be in this industry, yeah, and and yeah. it's and it's and, and that's something that and how and how much you belonged in it, yeah, absolutely. Try well, I, I suppose in a, in a weird way, and, and I wouldn't advise someone to do this, but to prove myself to people in the industry that I'm, and I don't think that's necessarily the best message. Yeah. But I was quite sort of when you're new to something, you, that's the way you're thinking, isn't it? As much as sometimes I feel like I have to, my mind is more strength feats. I suppose yeah. I try and feel like I need I need to be str like you can't be a PT unless you can deadlift two hundred kilos. Yeah, absolutely. Or you, have, or you have to have a six pack. Or you have to have a six pack. Yeah. yeah. Or yeah, you have to run. It's imposter syndrome, isn't it? You, 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 and if you really, really, really want something, you will go above and beyond to sort of prove that that. Then you still have those doubts in your mind. That's like that's that's what everyone will be like on the first day on the gym floor. That's what everyone will be like, you know, when they do their first run, whatever yeah, it may be. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. No. Okay. Cool. So theme of the podcast. Let's bring it back to topic. Reasons to exercise that are not for fat loss. Yeah, so I think a, a, a key thing, as you kind of half touched on it, is the uh, is the stress side of things, yep. isn't it? Stress is something that is your your Instagram post today was about stress. Yeah, 100%. and and it's about the managing of that. It's what's going to make us live longer and healthier and happier. And and there's no doubt about it. It probably is the most natural form of dealing with stress. Yeah, is is to move. And this comes back to again to caveman days. We talk about this quite a lot, but caveman days, you you didn't have social media anxiety, you didn't have some of the influences that we have in the moment that gives us stress. It was very much, you are need to go and hunt or you are being hunted. Yeah. So it's a very, so cortisol is there for those two reasons. That's and, pretty stressful. Well, yeah, cortisol, yeah. <laughs> but for those two reasons, what do you do in both those situations? You've got to get up and you've got to move. So moving is a very natural reaction to cortisol. But yeah. most of us these days have different options. We have calorie dense food, we have booze, we have drugs, we have cigarettes, all these sort of things that people turn to it's short temptation. term. That they and it doesn't involve movement. It moves sitting in your ass and actually regression yourself. And that's why people get this spot this spiral and there's this big problem. We have a, we have a very easy life comparatively now, and it's it's funny because like we're talking about all this like stress and stuff, and this week's been a hard week for me for whatever reason. I've developed a hopefully an acute case of insomnia, um, which will pass nice and fast. Um, but I, you know, I was lying in bed last night, and one of the things I was trying to use to help me to relax to get to sleep was um, perspective. And I was saying to myself, Doug, you're lying in a comfortable bed in a yep. dark room, Gratitude, in a safe yeah. flat, in a nice flat, Lovely in the centre of London, with a great business, with all these friends, blah, 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 blah. I was trying to justify it to myself of why I'm okay. Yeah, yeah. And, and like you, you, I think that's a powerful thing because like we will always, whether you're a caveman in 2000 BC or whenever the fuck they existed, or a man in, or a woman in 2021 AD, or someone in the year 3000, 
there will always be stresses, but it's, it's how we manage those stresses. And I think going back in time to not even just cavemen, but the, like you said, the gladiators, the Romans, the, the Greeks, all these, the Vikings, all these generations, it was a case that they that, that's what that's just their life. They didn't have exercise. They didn't go to the gym. Yeah. They just did this shit not every day. That yeah. was their job, I guess. The chair. There was no chair. That was their you, life. You sat in a you, you sat, squat. You sat in a squatted squat. position, and they still do it in China. Yeah, and that's that. And your mobility would be absolutely awesome because of that. The chair is one of the most. Like, I might get rid of all my chairs. It's one of the most. <laughs> should we get rid? Of, should we just squat? <laughs> <for the rest laughs> of this yeah. It's the most. It's one of the most disabling inventions that's probably been ever next, created. Next podcast. We're, to do the whole squat we're gonna do the whole thing on a squat. <laughs> we're talking like hips to knee. We're talking like well, I'll just, wall I'll just sit. I think we'll have to check. No, not wall sit. That's a pussy. <laughs> well, a wall sit's harder on the quads than a, I would say a, a full on. If you go hips past the knee, you're not. Well, I think we just sit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah we're, we're not going to use chairs. That's the that is the. <laughs> Show me the new guys in philosophy. Nice. Guys are moving. Don't oh. use chairs. <laughs> I might just do an Instagram post. Fuck chairs. No context. <laughs> just do that. Yeah. People will be like, "What are these last days? He's, he's done." He's gone. Just shut the chairs out of the window. No, I've had enough. I've had, He's I've gone. Had enough. I knew it. I knew it. Third coffee of the day. Yeah, it's kicking in. It's kicking in. No chairs. That's why you can't sleep. It's chairs. My fucking eyes are mutants. Maybe that's the day of the podcast. We get the whole exercise things to do. Fuck that. chairs. <laughs> Hashtag fuck chairs. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to bring that in. Yeah, great. There you go. But no, it's true. Like, you know, these guys didn't exercise. Exercise is a, is a thing that Natural. was invented far more recently. It was a forced invention because we were getting so fucking fat and lazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that is why it was invented. Um, but yeah, the, I mean, modern society right now, we have become worse at managing our stress. And a good doctor, because not all of them are good, just like any profession, there are good and bad people in that profession, mm-hmm. should be prescribed, for most people, should be prescribing exercise, regular exercise. Oh, yeah, so on, yeah, it's so, it's, it's one of those ones with, um, and I think the thing is also just touching on sort of profession a little bit as well, there's a misconception out there around exercise, it's like go hard or go home, mm. and it's like, no, 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 just move, just get up and move, get outside, breathe some fresh air, walk, you got, I mean, you've got, obviously the Thames is absolutely astonishing, yeah. but like, but in general, just get outside, get moving, okay? Or even if you're not, some, I mean, some people are, you know, aren't comfortable going for a walk because social reasons or whatever, then just then walk up walk, walk up down the garden, like, just move, get, get, your body, you've got so many skeletal muscles and they're all designed to move, and if you're, it's that, again, that grand old saying, if you're not using it, you're losing it, and, 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 it should be the natural reaction to stress. You're gonna get stressed out in this world, that's life. You know, People are gonna annoy you, you could be having a very good day and you drive on the bottom road and someone road rage cuts out in front of you, suddenly you're really pissed off. So it, it's got to be the kind of the go-to uh, when it comes to that. And people who do that, see the benefits enough that it will just become a habit of what you do, you know? Like, yeah. I mean, you, you, you're feeling a bit crappy this week, right? I've had you gone for a run this morning to make yourself feel better and it, you know, well, it seems to be working. I've trained every single day. And the reason I've done that is because I, it, this is me doing my best to manage the situation. Correct, you're not, you're not like training for Marbella or anything, are no, you? It, <laughs> it, it, it hasn't made me, uh, annoyingly, it hasn't made me feel any better, but it's prevented me from feeling worse. Yeah, uh, that, yeah, I think that's, it's made you, yeah, I, I agree, I agree, it's made you a day, what's well, kind of made you, yeah, I know what you mean. For me, the biggest thing about exercise, away from aesthetics, fat loss, muscle gain, whatever it may be, is empowerment. I think it pushes people out of their comfort zone. Whatever the form of exercise, exercise is basically the thought of and perceive, and, and in reality is something you know, uh, something which is gets you out of breath, gets your heart rate. Yeah, the yeah. difference between neat non-exercise activity thermogenesis and eat exercise activity thermogenesis is basically, well, are you out of breath? Are you feeling it? Is it? A, is there an intensity there where it's a, a level of effort above normal, above yeah. baseline? And for me, push anything that pushes you out of your comfort zone is a good thing because it encourages growth. And from growth, you then become a better person, you become more confident, you become more empowered, you become stronger mentally and physically. Yep. So for me, the biggest thing outside of fat loss, outside of muscle gain, outside of aesthetics, the exercise does, is it empowers people to become better versions of themselves. 100%. And, 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 and then, just, 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 <laughs> just touch on that comfort side of things as well. Like some people going for walk is uncomfortable. It's boring, it's, 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 it t- takes a lot of time and stuff. And so, you know, set your environment upright, have a podcast, learn while you're moving and stuff. And then suddenly walking becomes quite a nice option. It doesn't have to be yoga. Yoga's another one, you know? Like you can sit in the living room, you, do, you need literally a mat, borderline not a mat to do it. It's, 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 anything that stops people from doing that stuff are making excuses. Yeah, yeah, no, 100%, I agree. Gym's closed. 
There's other things you can do. Of course, gyms are great if you're used to going to the gym, but there are other options as well. Yeah, I suppose I'll, I'll touch on that. And also, another great thing about exercise that is nothing to do with fat loss is the social scene. Touch on the gyms there yeah. a little bit, you know. And there is, a, there's no doubt about it. When you go to a a, a, a space with like-minded individuals, it makes you work harder. I'll run. I'll touch on it again. I'll run today. You did what your three-minute PB today. Yeah, so it wasn't because I was bloody you know pushing him or anything like that. It was because Doug just was just. We'll take it easy today, mate. Just casually runs a sub twenty-two five k. You know, the geezer's not even a runner. <laughs> and, um, and, but there is that, it wasn't like competitive, it wasn't like we were like hammering each other. It's, like it's just a, it's a very natural thing to do. You tend to work harder when other people are around, when people are watching. And what, use that to your advantage. That's why, again, in, in race days, marathons, things like that, you get an extra 20% just because people are there. Yeah, the crowd is, uh, I've, I've only done one half marathon and it was when I was like 17 and I didn't train at all for it. And I threw up blood at the end. Oof. And without question, the hardest bit was the last, they, they really set it up for people to fail. The last two miles was down a straight of a, dual, a closed dual carriageway. And there, it was a wind tunnel and there was no crowd. Oh, that's the worst. And the crowd, you need it, the crowd, yeah. Everyone was, but it ended in Reading Football Club Stadium. Oh, so, oh nice. so you ran oh, no, sorry, into the, you ran into the stadium really onto cool. the pitch, yeah, yeah. and that was amazing. But that was the last thirty seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the difference between the first, last mile and the last thirty seconds, you should technically feel you're you're running on less fuel. You're more empty. You're more stressed. You're more dehydrated. You should be be able to perform less ably. Yeah. And yet that last thirty seconds, you sprint. Yeah. Oh, it's 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 the, it's, most, it's one of my top five moments of my life was finishing. Uh, a marathon that point to in Bournemouth they do it very well on the beach it gets very tight uh, so the crowd nice. are there or you're almost like a high five by having you can touch people <laughs> high five and it's stuff going through and suddenly it's amazing like 24 hours like I've got nothing left I'm dead this is the worst idea of my entire life yeah. and you get to that point two point one at the end and then it's the crowd are going mad and you're sprinting and then you finish, and you're like, I can't want to do another one now. Yeah, like, the marathon is something that at some point in my life I do want to do. You've got just, it in your mouth. You've got to, it in your you've got Just to be able to say, if you chuck ten weeks at it, I've done it. Yeah, but it, I think it requires a level of specificity. Oh, good. You have to change um, your, your training. Yeah, yeah. Time. And I think, and I think that, but I, I would do it for the mental challenge. Yeah, right? that's right. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's, it's, it's normally a 16, 20 week program, but I think you could do it in ten to twelve based on your kind of what you've got at the moment. Because you're, you're gonna be there for, for a tall dude and a big dude. You're be well, I'm, I, it's funny, isn't it? Because I'm kind of, I suppose, sonotype wise, more built for long distance running. True. Uh, true. Yeah. Um, yeah. I suppose, I suppose you, I've put on a bit of size. You've changed in the last that. Yeah. Yeah. Years, yeah. I yeah. kind of forced the change of that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but if you'd have seen me when I was eighteen, I was a skinny like little kid. If we said. When we started the kind of movement, that you'd be considering doing a marathon, I think you'd be like, "What the hell's happened?" Oh, I'm not. I'm, don't I'm not doing it this. No, this no, year. no, 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 no. But I think my, my point being is that this is the thing about this is the wonderful thing about exercise. Yeah. The human body is limitless, and yes. you probably you know you're an excellent strength trainer as well. I don't but know, I feel like I'm pushing the limits. No, no, no. But, this but, week, but, I feel like I'm fucking. <laughs> no, but, don't but, say that. I'll die. Tomorrow. No, but maybe, but maybe, maybe another dimension is is, is, is intriguing because because you know it does it does it, it is interesting to go and do this other stuff as well. But you're not. But you're doing it for the right reasons. Am I in the fourth dimension? <laughs> <laughs> but look, people who sign up to do a marathon to lose body fat, it's just, uh, let me tell you oh, now, gosh, let me tell yeah. you now, so I've, I've, I've put a I've post of me not training for a marathon, me training for a marathon, and I am a lot leaner and a lot sort of aesthetically pleasing than the marathon running guy. I was bloody, you eat everything when you're yeah, <laughs> you no, training a marathon. so true. The other one I was going to say, um, and I think we both, we both kind of touched on it, is that obviously when it comes down to energy balance, exercise helps the uh, energy out side of the equation, you're burning energy, you're yeah. burning calories, which is your, you know, your currency of energy. And even though we wouldn't necessarily, again, we are definitely not encouraging people to use exercise for this, but there's, you know, you can't escape the fact that exercise enables you to eat more yeah. and people enjoy eating more. Well, you can, you can play the balance card more, can't you? Yeah. You know, there's another, there's another option. The options are always a good thing in anything in life. Yeah. And so if, it was, if it was just, if it was just Not consuming all, calories. You've got too many options, though. True. Like, it's, it's <laughs> yeah. Because energy in, energy out, there's two nice options. Like. <laughs> yeah. You've got two options. But like, so, uh, today, for example, we went, again, we talked about this bloody run, we run today, and then Woody, Woody messaged me. Oh, so, well, you've name dropped him now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, good point, yeah. Woody, my, a good mate of mine from school, messaged me, I haven't seen him for bloody months, and Garden, obviously, party. Today and um, he was like, oh, look, yeah, let's, get some, let's have some beers." And I was like, hey, I've, run, run up. I've, I've, "I've kind of, I've helped my balance out a little bit mm. here, so I can have thirty beers." Interesting. Here's a question. Here's a question for you: If if you if we hadn't been for a run today, yeah, and you got that text, would you feel like you would then have to go out and do exercise? No, 
correct answer. No. I was no. hoping you said no. no yeah. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to gamble it. No, 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 no. no. But we're, we're sitting on the same hip <laughs> sheet, bro. <laughs> you can tell when you speak. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, right. I'm sorry. Yeah. Crazy. Am I that much louder? Well, I guess no, that's when I get excited. Like, when you get excited, excited yeah. yeah. Um, I'm looking more at the camera, to be honest. But yeah, I'm, I'm having a bit once, I don't think. But um, this but, is why the YouTube subscribers aren't. <laughs> so I'll look over there. Now. Yeah, forget um, this. this is, <laughs> there we go. The, um, oh, shut up, with yeah, be careful with that. Yeah. I think that's the whole podcast. That's, that's all good. Um, but no, no, no. I wouldn't. I wouldn't think that because you know I'm consistent enough during the week. That that's never going to be a problem, I don't think. But, yeah. but I'm not doing it for that. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like, I'm not. I'm exercising because I want to have that balanced lifestyle where I yeah. can still do that sort of stuff. And I exercise because, believe it or not, it is very, very possible to just enjoy exercising. Well, but this is the thing: you've learned to enjoy exercise correct, because correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. because you felt the benefits, the benefits out, outside of fat loss for it. To the words out of my mouth. And I think, but I'm glad you said that. And I did think you were going to say the right. There is a correct answer. You did get me the correct, correct. Congratulations, A star. You did. <laughs> I, I, it is, it, it's, it's the point we were trying. I was trying to make though is that you should. If someone says that to you, oh, we're going to have pizza tonight, or oh, do you fancy some beer tonight? A big night out. You shouldn't feel like you then have to go. Oh fuck! Right. Well, I need to go and bang an hour and yeah, wait in the healthy, gym, or go out and run ten k because I'm probably going to. I'm probably going to consume a thousand calories. So I'm going to like go out and run a thousand calories. Yeah. Like you can do much better things around it. So why don't you just say, okay, cool. I'm going to go to my mate's house tonight. Hmm, he lives three miles away. I'll, yeah. walk, I'll walk to his house. Yeah. You can enjoy yeah. it all if it's a nice day. Or, the, or, the, or even, even better, in my opinion, if it's drinks, the next day you're hungover, get up and go for a two hour walk. Yeah. Clear absolutely. the head, clear absolutely. the head. Absolutely, absolutely. And, and, and as I say, celebrate the fact that you are creating balance, you know? And that's, it's, well, we've, I've said this quite a lot before, but like, Balance, consistency, it doesn't sell magazines, does it? It's, mm. it's, too, it's too many options, again, probably. probably it's not Hollywood there. enough. No, no. And, and people don't really respond that well to it because we'll just sit around and do nothing. And just, no, of course we're not saying that. We're saying explore different options and, and, and probably you know, fuel yourself to, 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 to explore these options. Well, yeah. I say, I mean, and if, you have, if people might be sitting there thinking, but I don't enjoy exercise. And I, it, it is, that mm. is something that in the industry that does wind me up because you, it's not, in my opinion, it's not possible to not enjoy exercise. I just don't think you found the right one yet. Or you've been doing it for the wrong reasons. Or, yeah, good, correct, yeah, good point. But yeah. I think it's like wrong reasons, but also you probably haven't found the one yet. Yeah, that's the biggest one, definitely. And it's like, you... <laughs> It, in my opinion, that is one of the biggest sins you could do to your life. It's not exploring enough to find things that you're good at, or things that you could. It's just it's a wasted life, isn't it? You know, like the amount of things that exercise has given us, for example. Yeah. And if you aren't exploring that, trying new things, failing, going again, doing something else, you you might find things that you are very good at that you don't even know you're good at. And how much of a wasted life is that? Yeah, I was laughing because there's a um a very I think it's quite old. Uh, but I used to, I re used to refer to it a lot with people to go and give them context. There's an old study that was done by uh, Harvard University uh, where they basically, I don't know how they did it, but I'm imagining it was Harvard, they did it pretty well. Yeah. Um, they figured out the metabolic equivalents, the METs, of low, like hundreds of different things. And it's literally from like sedentary, like BMR, all the way up to like marathon. Yeah. Uh, yeah and I think the most intense one was something like it was like a 30 minute boxing fight or something crazy like that where you're just literally getting hit in the face and you're hitting Oof, some yeah. all this right but some of the ones on the list absolutely incredible and it's like where does the, where there, there's no line in the sand where it says this is ex from here on it's exercise no like i think people sometimes don't realize that everybody exercises <laughs> like the one of my favorite one on there is vigorous cleaning <laughs> <laughs> and it's, it's if you're vigorous, trust me, if you're, because I love, I love a bloody good vigorous clean. Uh, if you're vigorously cleaning your flat, yeah. you, I'm sweating. Have you got a duster? Oh, mate, we got a fucking steam mop, what? duster, a steam mop? What does a steam mop do? Mops the floor with steam. Jesus. Sick. Um, <laughs> if you're doing that, you're vigorously cleaning. By the end of that, I've got a bead on, I'm sweating. That's what goes in your bedroom, mainly dusting. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's got another form of exercise in there. Cardio. <laughs> that is actually, I talk about this quite a lot. Mike, what's you do talk about this quite a lot. You like, you like getting the old uh, sex out there. People, don't, people, people don't understand Explore it. yourself. Try, try people, things. People should be having more <laughs> sex. Don't tell me you don't enjoy exercise and you don't enjoy fucking. Because you do. Sexercise. Sexercise. Maybe that's a new class you could bring out. It's your, your flat. <laughs> Already have, mate. 
<laughs> charge people. That's not a bad idea. <laughs> Isn't that legal? It's, it's, it definitely has been done somewhere. I reckon. Well, yeah, it's called prostitution. Yeah. <laughs> but we're going to be like in Holland or something. Yeah, How much Holland. do you reckon I could charge? I reckon people will probably pay about seven quid an hour. Oh. <laughs> Not even, a, not even a tenner. We need a Jamie. We need a Jamie like Joe Rogan to Google this while we're talking. Yeah, Jamie, Google that for me. Jamie, James? <laughs> yeah, okay, we, could, your we, we actually could have worked to it. <laughs> yeah, Jamie. Jamie, Jamie yeah. James. Yeah, um, that's the next time. Uh, yeah, I think charging people for sex in my flat is illegal. Um, but the, the, point, <laughs> the point was, the point was, I mean, I definitely could do it. But the, the point was, the point was, sex is, if you want it to be, you could use that as your form of exercise. So if you like space, a lot of planking and a lot of what well, depends could be. What you doing with those? Isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what <are> you doing? <laughs> I, I don't know. It's weird thinking about it sitting down. This is why we should get rid of our chairs. Yeah. <laughs> again, but, you know, maybe introduce a chair. You could. I, mean, I wouldn't. Though, what? Just... Fucking chair. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's not going to go very very really calories. Maybe we should have another coffee. It's, like, <laughs> it's doing the trick, isn't it? I'll tell you what, it's better than being <laughs> better than being drunk at this point. <laughs> Um, but no, you're right. It's it is a form of exercise. It is a, there's an intensity. To it. I know someone who actually wore a, um, a heart rate monitor and measured it. I think you better attend how long the session is. Obviously, but. well, this is always the funniest part. Like if you've ever had, if you're a PT or you know, whoever, and you and you've you've got clients and you've sunk sink, sunk synced Apple watches, mm. it will happen to you that a client will flash up and say, whoever just did a three minute workout. It's suspicious. At two a.m. Yeah. It's like, hmm, why are you doing a hit class at two in the morning? <laughs> Yeah, and I was very sure. Yeah. I just measured some well, that being like, go on, my son. But, but sex is part of a is, a, is part of a healthy lifestyle. Right? We should have done. We, you know what we're going to do? We're going to do a whole podcast on sex. Oh God, I ain't got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you have to dictate that one. I'll leave. <laughs> Maybe we should get James in for that one. Third, third special guest. It's just a bit of a bit of a turn, this but by the way, it is something. Uh, again, I suppose it is probably an exercise away from fat loss, and again. We're joking about checking calories and stuff. You should probably should be measuring calories throughout the day. I don't think that's a healthy message. That's probably one of the metrics I would say that's not a healthy metric of exercises. I need to burn X amount of calories for the very reasons you're talking about. Yeah. It's that whole punishment for food, punishment for well, and they're wrong as well. Well, true, yeah, no, they're not very accurate either. Um, so, but yeah, I think it's that's that is a, a good way of kind of building in more movement during the day. Just, the, the message really is be more active. I don't particularly like it. So even though we, this is a little bit counterproductive what we do with Kaiser but we do sort of say 10,000 steps a day but we do also say to people like look just give us a number have a target mm, build the, but the message is we just want you to be more active you know and if you're doing one two thousand steps a day well then six seven thousand steps is you being more active and we know? don't want you to be more active to lose weight we want you to be more active because we know it will empower you to and you will start to feel better yeah because we're, we're much more about people feeling their best than we are about oh look that person's fat, mm, not good. Got a metaphor for you. Go. Is it an analogy or metaphor? <laughs> well, I still think it's an analogy. Okay, but... <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll try and figure it out. Um, I don't know, I've kind of lost it now. So, if you think about it, if you do more steps, be more active, fat loss becomes a byproduct, right? If you get off, you need to make sure that your calories are in check or consuming and stuff. But if you, in general, if you do healthy processes, the fat loss will come, you don't have to think about it as much. And you could argue that the Kaiser kind of movement, we put lots of processes in place, such as the podcast, such as the Instagram, such as the emails, such as all the things that we offer, in the hope that sales is just a byproduct. Yeah, you know, we're, we're not hard sellers, are we? Really, we're no. going like you have to do this. I mean, sign up, it's great, but like, <laughs> <laughs> why are you saying it's there? I always do that. I, get I, don't, I don't know, but it's no, but the mic's there. Yeah, but it can hear you. Don't worry. Well, the mic's there, but it can hear you. <laughs> it can hear you. It's okay. You don't need oh, to. okay. Um, but no, but it, it's a, it, the, what, all the stuff we do around guys is a byproduct. Hopefully, people <laughs> like us. I mean, they probably think we're a bit weird about talking about shagging chairs. <laughs> well, you're the one who's shagging a chair, mate. I'm not. Well, you could do a slagging off so much. I'm like, come a bit of slack. <laughs> chairs are the devil. Get rid of all your chairs in your house. Right. Um, but no, so I think, should we summarize maybe? Yeah, that, uh, wrap it up. Exercise, wrap but I think, up. you know. It is such a thing that people always seem to think that exercise is solely for weight. Like, I'm going to get this cross training for hours, so I weigh myself tomorrow and that. And you know, the fluctuations of water weight and stuff, that's just not a very healthy message and probably not a very sustainable message. You should probably look at things that we spoke about today. So things like the management of stress, things like the social side of exercise, things like it creates more metrics of success away from weight loss. And overall, it will just give you a healthier, fitter lifestyle, which empowers you. empowers you to be more 
you know, just a, a, a great guy, a nice person. <laughs> it, does, it does make you, I do, it does make you a nicer person. That's a good question, Pip. Yeah, I would argue so, because it's going to make you more confident. If you're more confident, people want to be around you. If people are around you, it's a virtuous cycle where so you feel better, makes them makes feel, you better. feel better, which then makes them feel better, which yeah. makes more people want to be around you, and so on and so forth. Yeah. People will always feel their best when they're in a good rhythm with their sort of training, yeah. whatever that looks like, yeah. with their movement. Yeah, yeah, with their movement, whatever yeah. that looks like. Sweet. Great. Wrap right. this shit up. Well, we oh, was that it? Was that it wrapped up? Well, I think the other thing I'd probably to mention is probably the uh, the blueprints arts. Oh day. yeah, well that is true. I mean, yeah, are we getting sound that far? <laughs> so we know, we, we, we what know. day is it? Friday. It's obviously going to go out before Monday, so we'll launch it tomorrow. Saturday. Yeah. So on Monday, April twelfth, everything Doug and I are talking about here, we have basically put all our knowledge and understanding into a six week program, which enables you to sort of track things like your calories, but also your protein, your movement, your activity levels, your meat. Maybe we should have a sex tracker. <laughs> That'd be. Too. Tell you what, that would be a fucking USP. <laughs> well, no, but that's going to impact your sex exercise class. Well, it could also lead to some very bad behaviours. <laughs> yeah. We might be we might be responsible for some things that we don't be responsible for. <laughs> uh, but no, it, it enables you to track many. Well, I was going to say the important parts of our life, but there are other important, important parts of life. But it's, certainly towards sort of health and fitness and stuff. It's the, the things that we life. think are important to help people to feel better. Pro- those processes that we're talking about yeah. that will build you. And, then, and, and this is not, and we say this quite a lot, it's not six weeks to abs. Mm. It's not six weeks to lose a two stone or anything like that. It is literally six weeks to start building these processes into habits that what we think will enhance the rest of your life. And, and this is done in a group with, with lots of accountability, with lots of support with Doug and I. And, you know, thankfully, we're in a quite a blessed position, mate, in the sense that we know it works. So it's just kind yeah. of getting people on board to kind of trust in us and, and, and go with that. And then, you know, if people stick to it, they will get the results they deserve. That's, that's the hardest part, and I suppose probably the most frustrating part for us is like, just listen to us, kind of thing. Yeah. Like, if you listen, we this will work, kind of thing. And I understand why there is that scepticism. I understand people might be listening to this and being like, I've never heard of you two, why should I believe you? And I under- we get that. Talk, talk, talk about after, chairs. Especially <laughs> after today, they'd be like, what? Maybe that attracts some people. It attracts our tribe, I think. Like, yeah, I, I, like, I like weird people. <laughs> yeah. Well, like, because we're weird, not because... Yeah. Yeah, sweet. Okay, cool. Cool. Good. Hey, thank you so much for listening, guys. Thank you for having me at your glorious abode, Doug. You're welcome. And I shall be going to return you the favour back in a month's time when you're up to see me. Sweet. Say goodbye to the YouTube crowd as well. Bye-bye, everybody. See you later, Bye-bye.